the phenomenon of off is both complex and very simple. Um, the, we don't have an official diagnosis or definition of off, uh, but the unofficial one or the little that we have really prioritizes the motor symptoms of off. Uh, and that's a problem because off states really includes non-motor symptoms. And then the other thing that's wrong with uh, the current definitions of off is that it's an all or none phenomenon. Uh, whereas in reality, uh, there are 50 shades of gray and the transitions to off or the transition to on are still within the off states. And so the definition or the newer definition of off really tries to encompass all of these things. Uh, one, it, it emphasizes that the off state is a negative feeling. Uh, and that negative feeling is unique to each patient. The second component of the newer definition of off state is that it includes both the motor symptoms and the non-motor symptoms of off. And then the third is that it recognizes these transitional states, delayed on, um, predictable off states, unpredictable off states, sudden on and offs, uh, painful off states, they are all within the spectrum of off. So those are the three newer elements of the current or new definition of off state that wasn't there before. Well, there are several reasons why off states con continue to be under-recognized. Uh, the first one, I think the most important one, is that there is a limited amount of time for both the patient and the doctor to be together. And Parkinson's disease, as we know uh, now, really involves or affects every organ system of the body. So the new Parkinson doctor will not only deal with on and offs and response to medication, but they have to give counsel the patient on sleep problems, on constipation, urinary problems, pain, depression, anxiety, dementia, to name a few. And so off states are just one of the things that they have to worry about. So number one is really the limited amount of time. The second is the long, the, really the ingrained um, thinking that off states are synonymous to motor symptoms or re-emergence of motor symptoms. Um, and therefore, patients may not volunteer uh, if they have a cognitive fog or panic attack or anxiety as they're wearing off phenomenon. They may not tell their neurologist about this, but they'll tell their GP or they'll tell their psychiatrist about it because they think that's not part of Parkinson's, but it's part of my behavioral disorder uh, or mood disorder. And so that's a second reason. And the third is that we actually don't have a formal definition as of yet. And when you don't have a formal definition of it, then it could be staring at you and you wouldn't recognize it. And that's why we are trying to propose a new definition. Yes, I think, I think that's an important question because it really points to why we're making a big deal of off states. Uh, it is a big deal because it is. Uh, it is a big deal from the quality of life of patients. It is a big deal on the caregiver burden uh, of the spouses. And it is a big deal from the economic standpoint. Uh, every data shows that one, it is virtually inescapable that if a patient lives long enough, they're going to develop motor fluctuations, including and especially off states. The second is that the more off they are or the more time they spend in the off state, the higher the economic burden, the higher the caregiver burden, uh, and the lower the quality of life. So because of these, off states matter.